a full Star Wars trilogy created by AI. Ah! Oh, sorry. Oh. This is the one wheel, pretty much the best electric vehicle that's not a car. I have put well over 3,000 miles on this thing. Now obviously I didn't do all those miles on one single charge. This is actually the first generation one wheel which only has a range of about 6 miles. And that's great for just riding around town, but once you put a few miles on you gotta start looking for a place to charge. Unless you do what I do and use a mobile charging solution to charge while you're out in the field. Like this, a solar controller. Using a solar controller you can feed energy from any battery into the one wheel. So my buddy Ian actually took this to the next level and packaged that into a self-contained charging solution on the go called Carve Power. It's pretty sweet and works really well. This is the exact system I use when I'm actually out on a mountain or in the field, wherever I am away from a power outlet and I still need to charge the one wheel. I've seen comments on that mountain video asking whether or not I can charge while riding. I've always responded, no, you cannot charge and ride at the same time. It's not possible. Except it is possible. It's very possible, and I'm gonna try it. Now the charger that plugs into the one wheel uses what's called an XLR port. The charger's XLR port actually has three pins on the inside of it, but here's the thing, you only actually need two of those pins to charge the one wheel. The third pin is literally just there to inform the one wheel whether or not it is plugged in and to not turn on if it is. Now obviously you don't want a situation where it's plugged in and the one wheel turns on and thinks that it's operational even though it's still tethered to a wall. So that's where this mod comes in, if you disconnect that third pin, the one wheel doesn't actually know that it's no longer plugged into the wall, even though it will still be able to receive power. That's critical to this mod. So what's actually happening here is that we're fooling the one wheel into believing that it's getting regenerative energy by going downhill, even though that's not the case at all. Now I want to clarify that this video is not a tutorial, and that if you decide to try this too, you run the risk of ruining your board, and even worse, perhaps having it turn off mid-ride, which can cause considerable injury. So. I don't recommend you actually try this. You have been warned. There's a huge deadline looming behind us, just like the force field looms behind the main characters in this piece. The blue zone is <laughs> shrinking in. We have to deliver a trailer at the end of this week. We have to have the cut locked at the end of this week. And then next week is our week to finish all the effects, all the sound, all the music, and then it comes out. It seems like it's a faster schedule than most, but what if I told you that this is how all CD videos are done on a reckless, neck-breaking schedule like this one? I'm just kind of lying. Yeah, it's faster than most. <laughs> but you know what? This is totally not the dramatic way to end this segment, but Perfect. I believe in our team and we do a good job here at Corridor. So we try to have a drama-free environment where we actually get our work done on time and provide the artists the support they need to do the work. Nico's, Nico's not talking about this correctly at all. If we don't have this edit locked by Friday, then basically the client hates us and they'll never bring us another really cool brand integration like PUBG. Don't mess it up. This guy sent us an email. Who doesn't want to work on a Star Wars movie when you're a kid? Someone who watches our YouTube channel, Peter Gardas, was messing around and created a neural network that creates Star Wars movie scripts. That's right, an AI making a Star Wars movie script. He sent us one. Look how long this is, really quick. And I was like, he sent us that. And I was like, you made an AI neural network that sends us movie scripts? He sent us two more right now. And he sent two more. A full Star Wars trilogy created by AI. It's like as if R2-D2 decided to become a writer. <laughs> There's dialogue? Oh yeah. So Interior. Pollock Valet. Day. Yoda walked down two and two room around the cheer two. R2. He must dash one with one hand. Said time Obi-Wan. <laughs> How lost stiddle Annie? Is a pods. Stay need any down you. They begin to confident. Padme, it's report the force. Commander West, the elevate the mist for you. We have taken of the love. Newt Gunray is ship around. Palpatine, not in this probe, Veer. The force and queen as they're brocking, then the bridge for a coloring lee. It's absolute gibberish. Anyways, I made extra spicy chili. Ghost pepper lava chili, homemade. You know most video game companies have something called crunch time? No where like all the employees come in and spend like 80 hours a week working on video games. And it just seems to be the accepted practice in the industry. Well, at Infinity Ward, back in the days of making Call, like, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare 1, Modern Warfare 2, etc., I actually had a chance to speak to the devs, and they're like, yeah, we don't do crunch time. We just properly manage our projects. So that's what we do here. We just properly manage our projects. Ah! I'm not even done! And it gave the same! I got 10 more of these to do! Let's 
coming together. Midian did a pretty solid job of picking out some really good character beats in the beginning, and even the fight scene's coming together. Working away. Yep. And I'm excited for this mod. I want to ride forever, or as long as my batteries will allow. So the most common form of battery to charge on the go is this thing. It's a 10 cell battery. Thank you, China. This is actually the same exact battery you'll find on the inside of those classic like two wheel hoverboard scooter things that don't have any names. So everyone just calls them a hoverboard even though they don't hover. Boom, and now it's charging. Unplug it, done. You don't need any special balancing. That's all done internally. That's the nice thing about these batteries. Comparing that with, say, a LiPo battery, this has a lot more energy, but as you can see, it's unprotected. If I was to pierce this with something, it may explode, like in this video. For this mod, there are two main things we're gonna adjust, and that's basically, we're gonna disconnect that third pin inside of this plug, and also extend the length of this cable. I'm gonna use just like a classic little laptop cable. Dude, I can, I can jump rope with this. Do you have scissors? No. Do you have scissors? This is gonna feel very weird. I'm gonna cut the tip of this off. There's something about cutting electrical cords like this with scissors that just feels so wrong. Oh, <laughs> that was... That was dirty. <laughs> now to cut the other end off. So the reason why I did that is because I only need the two wires in this cable. One's a negative, one's a positive terminal, and I'm gonna solder some XT60 connectors to the ends of these. So for the, really? The second part is a very specific 90 degree angle XLR port. In the event that you do crash or spill, it won't roll over and break the port. You can actually choose what angle this goes in at. I'm gonna rip out one of these pins and I'm gonna solder the two wires to the other two pins. In theory, this should work. Time for some soldering. That was very scary. I'm decent at soldering now. I'm not worried about that. I am worried about potentially ruining the one wheel if this is up and running. Only a little bit worried. It's about that time where I tell you guys about the beautiful, wonderful world of Squarespace. That's right, this segment is sponsored by Squarespace, and once again, I'm here to tell you just how simple and amazing it has been for the CorridorDigital.com website. You may have noticed that 2018 brought in a slightly new website that I'm pretty proud of. Do you see these? Do you see these? Do you see these beautiful little scrolling backgrounds? Before it was like this, they were static. It always bothered me that I couldn't get the background to scroll. As you know, Squarespace has beautiful award-winning templates. Now, what does that mean? You can bring your website from one template over to another, giving it a completely different look and feel without having to change a thing about your account or anything else. Let me show you how this works. I found a template that I liked, one that stu stood out to me. Sonora. I clicked preview. It took all the information from our current website. It brought it over into that template. So then now we have the new one. The only thing that was holding me back was myself. Because Squarespace has an all-in-one platform, there's nothing to install, patch, or upgrade ever, meaning that your site all over will always be up to date. Also, if you are looking for a domain and you don't want to do domain hosting and website hosting, they'll take care of all that for you as well. So anyway, you know how this works. Go to squarespace.com slash Sam and Nico and you get 10% off your first purchase. It's that simple. You're welcome. <laughs> so it has been a weekend. I have taken this home and I just tested it to see if it worked and I realized I needed some way to mount this thing to my backpack. So what I did was I literally just took some gaff tape and basically made a rope out of it. So this is literally just hanging from the back of my backpack using some gaff tape and some uh, string that was left over from our couch pillows. <laughs> Dumb. Pillows. Pillows. You know what? This is this is all a little on the janky side. I needed a way to mount this green mini to the back of my backpack. I 3D modeled in Fusion 360 a holder for this MPPT. All the holes line up. How about I just go ahead and just put these screws in, mount this thing up, and done! It works! There are few things more satisfying in life than when you model something and print it. And now it's real. And it's useful. It's working. So here is the finished plug. Boom! And you see my I got my little quick release port here, so when I fall off, it just unplugs, it doesn't do any damage, doesn't get tangled up at all. So here's another problem that I've run into. If I crash and it rolls onto its side, all of the impact force goes straight into the plug, and the plug itself is not designed to take that sort of impact. There's the space between the actual plug itself and the rest of the one wheel, so if I press here, all the force from that pressing goes into the plug instead of the board. What people have done online is that they actually buy these bushings, and you literally just 
put it on like that, and this is supposed to protect the plug from your crashes. The problem is that this bushing is far too large and that it doesn't actually get a good seat into the plug. It falls out really easily. So that's a problem. The plug could break off inside and the entire one wheel is just dead. So what I did was I actually 3D modeled another part and 3D printed that today. This was the original V1, this is the V2. You wanna see something super satisfying? So I put this on here and then plug this in. This should be able to take an impact and not damage anything. I haven't done an actual proper test with this thing yet and I actually wanna compare it up against something that's actually really good and can go the distance such as Jan's One Wheel XR. I'm really intrigued to see if we can both ride from my home to the studio tomorrow and see which one of us will make it. I feel like we've already been riding for a little bit, yeah. and I don't think we've even got a single mile yet. We're not even 10% of the way. You're such a negative Nancy in the morning, you know? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jan is very skeptical of janky stuff like this. It's If it's not professionally built, it's not going to last. I think that the, the, the jankiness of the rig will eventually present itself, probably sooner than later, and it will just fail outright. I hope you're wrong. <laughs> I also think the thing that makes one wheel so cool is how tough they are. They are just built Tonka tough. You can drop these things from nearly anything and just get back up on them and ride. My experience with external batteries is one solid uh, uh, fall and they're done. Okay. Hey. No, it's not. No, it's not! It's not! I hate hall monitors. Hall monitors. If you're if you're telling someone who looks like they're having more fun than you. Ah! Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, oh, oh. dude. You okay? Yeah, all good. All good. Nothing to that bag. Am I now littering if I picked it up? Like if I drop this, is that now littering since I grabbed it? Jan, I unfortunately think that would be littering now. <laughs> You've taken on the responsibility of <laughs> delivering that to a trash can. <laughs> this is why I don't help. Now you're just carrying around the bag. That's life. Sometimes you help people out and you get a bag. Don't litter, folks even if it means carrying a bag with you for two and a half miles. Ren is testing out his new one wheel mod. Problem is, his test involves riding all the way to the studio. Riding all the way to the studio with Jan. Jan has never come into the studio without a tag. Oh, what up, son? Dude, we got a wild son here. Are you the game? A game of what? Dude, we just ro rode all the way here from Pasadena. Really? Yeah. yeah. Three guys are coming and they've got big dirt guns and they're on, they're coming right now. They're, they're literally... <laughs> Was a trap, son. Uh, yeah, dude, the mod worked. I went 15.1 miles and I still have 74% battery left. But it worked, man. We made it all the way here. It took us a couple hours, but we made it. Dude, everyone's here today. We had a whole flanking maneuver set up. So the moment that door opened, they came in. We went around to shoot oh, the back. Oh, it's perfect. Yeah, I saw you guys come in. I was like, oh, great. <laughs> oh, so you saw us roll in. No, oh. I heard you roll in. Oh. Steve warned us. Steve. Oh, I saw Steve run in. <laughs> I saw them see us and then turn around and run inside. I couldn't see who it was. I just knew guys were coming down the street. And if I had my camera, I would have done it in slow mo because it looked like reservoir dogs. <laughs> Whether you have your own 3D printer or you have a service that you want to go through, I will make these publicly available for free for you to download if you want.